Hello and welcome to Daily Bites with your host Mr. Bites and today we're playing The Park. It's a horror game which is slow paced and it's really good for headphones. With that said, let's begin. Loading, loading, loading. Buncom presents. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. The park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Mr. Bear. I lost Mr. Bear. Stay in the Where car. Is Mr. Bear? Go and ask information. Is he over there? Stay in the car. Stay. Stay in the car. Stay. Is he okay? He's like rocking around. Eh, it's fine. This game's Attention, pretty patrons. Pretty. The park is now closed. Please make I can't your way see to the myself. car park at your earliest convenience. Employees, prepare the park There's to no check out. Rock. Hello, can you help me? I'm lost. I'm looking for Mr. Bear. Okay, I'll look at my hands instead. Hey, I can't see Lorraine. you. Lorraine. Don't How do you know myself, name? Lorraine? People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. I lost the teddy bear. The last it's place okay. you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Stupid kid, come back. Wait for mommy, Callum. Over here. Wait for mommy, Callum. Come on, mommy. The audio in this game is awesome. Wait up there Should for mommy, Callum. <laughs> this way, mommy. There's something Escalade, special about the entrance to the park. A line drawn between the real Work. world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Um, you need new lights. Fuck is the noise? No! Stay still! Don't go evil! Don't go evil! <laughs> yeah. Oh hell no. Can we go? I leave my son here in the city. I don't need them. I don't need anyone. Come to mommy, Callum! Oh god. The park. What happened here? Stay still, you fucker. Come back. I didn't mean it. Come back.
Come out, sweetie. Catch me, mommy. Where did you go? This way. I think this belongs to Shoe. Cal. Shoe. I found Shoe. Oh yeah. Stop, Callum. Shout out the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Come back, Callum. What's this? Where are you? Come on, this way. Callum, stay where you are. What are you, how are you doing, kid? Come back. Kid, you stupid kid. God, that kid's got balls. I wouldn't go in there. Come on, mommy. He's got big cojones. Do I have to follow? Yeah. Ride this one. This place looks so fun. Yay. Not really. It's terrifying. Can we go home now? Into the cave of dreams and wonders. On nightmares and screams. Near a great forest. There lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Bite or sup? What? What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. What? No, my wife. The alone. I cannot I do both. that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Is that the next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother God, the echoes. <laughs> oh my ears. bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Okay, devil scroll. Clever devil has scroll. leaves a trail Back away, Antichrist! Back! Back to her, you go! When their father leaves them, Seriously, the children eyes wait for him. Then follow the trail back to their parents' house. And he smile. Psychopath. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find mm. the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Wouldn't they die first? Or were they drinking pee? The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, 
and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Because that's what you do when you see a house in the woods. Just eat it. Nibble, nibble, little mouse. Who's nibble, nibble, little at mouse. My house. An old Two fat kids. Emerged from the house. Because of being in your house. Sipping the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. <laughs> oh, you dear children. Who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel yeah, stayed sure back, lady. for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, the mom don't was be rich. afraid. <laughs> I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing well, this to is fear not here. So Kenny is my fan. The old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Once yeah. inside the house, the old woman Need the pearl her. She stuck Hansel day. into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother sweep, will make sweep, a sweep good floor, mouthful, sweep, 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 sweep the old witch floor. told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Evil witch, bitch. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel yeah, pretended I'll not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large That's iron one over big the door oven. to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch cooked. Yeah, that's normal. Cooked. Those kids are perfectly fine. Listens to a witch scream. Then, mm -hmm. Because no even more. children can't survive on sweets, what? they divided the up the body of the old witch and ate her. Those kids are fucked up. They need help. A lot of help. What the fuck's one? Turn around! Stop it! Stop it! Go press no more! No more! Okay, good, good. To keep going, keep going. That's a good swan. <sighs> happy place, happy place. Come back here. Where are you, Calm? What the fuck? Why is it Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. He's meant away. to be your son, not your brother. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. 
And you're really good at poetry, okay. <laughs> Find your son, stop talking. Another accident. This place. Great, there's blood. What the hell? Why is the bear stabbed? The hell? Who would kill the bear? Just kill the bear, it's already dead. Just stab it, just stab it. Where? Stab it in the eyes. I see it with my soul. You don't have a soul. Shh! Don't tell no one. No rocks. No. Stay rock. What the hell's that? Is that a Dalek? Sounds like Daleks. Doctor Who! Woohoo! Exterminate! Exterminate! That kid's voice is really creepy. This way, mommy. Come this way. Jump off the cliff, mama. Okay, we're gonna end it there today. Thank you for watching. This has been Mr. Bites on Daily Bites. Please like and subscribe for more and see you in the next video.